So I was going to grout. I was gonna grout today, but tomorrow it's supposed to rain. And I've got heat in this bus now. And today it's like 55, so it's not terrible. So I think I'm gonna try to uh, get this wood out of the bus and actually build some cabinets. So that's the goal. And I don't know if anybody else does this, but I get all excited. So I start going to the stores and like buying materials, buying the things that I need to do the projects that I want to do. And I just buy them way too freaking early. This wood has been in here since like July and it's the end of November. Like it's November 28th. Milo just turned two yesterday. I'm like, it's amazing how fast this is going. I mean, it really is. It's going fast. I mean, we're fortunate enough to have a really big bus. So it's not like it's really in the way. I haven't had to move it in and out a lot. So it's not like it's a huge deal, but I just want to not have to worry about moving it around anymore. And it's pretty exciting. I mean, once we get these cabinets in here, this is like, I want to say one of the last daunting projects that I'm like nervous about. The rest of it's kind of like trim work here. I got to run the plane for the sink, but that's not going to be that big of an issue. I've got to do trim work around the windows, paint, sand, build the bed, build the bunk beds, like all that stuff's kind of easier because it's just building materials out of wood. And I mean, I say that, but building that couch, that was a heck of a project. So, I mean, yeah, let's just say we're getting there. You want to hear a dumb story about this piece of wood? This right here, that's, that's blood. And the reason that's blood is because when I was doing the shower pan for, you know, like our shower, I, uh, I needed to cut the waterproof membrane. And instead of worrying about going to the hassle of trying to find like a razor blade with a handle and stuff, I found the razor blade, like just the razor blade itself. So I start cutting, 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 and then it like slips and gouges my finger. And yeah, I ended up going to urgent care and getting stitches. And uh, yeah, it's kind of scary because it was like right next to my vein and I couldn't feel my finger. And then I was like, oh my goodness, this is gonna be so expensive, but it wasn't that bad. So uh, yeah, make sure you guys use your proper tools. Go through the extra steps to use the proper tools because if not, it might cost you. Might cost you a lot. So, in here is our notes for our bus build. That was one of the storage layouts for the gray tank and the water supply. That's Milo's notes. All right, so, Emily draws a lot. All right, here's the kitchen. This is what we're going for. I asked her to, to kind of do the measurements of exactly what I needed, and she did. She made the exact measurements of everything that I need. She did a really good job. So it's gonna be kind of like, it's a countertop, got a sink, but there's like a ledge. The sink kind of like hangs over, kind of like a farmhouse style sink, but it's not a farmhouse style sink. It's just like a extended, I'll, I'll have to show you. So this is what we're building today. It's just a cabinet. So in theory, this uh, shouldn't take very long. And I've never done this before. I don't really wanna tell you how to do it, but this is how I did it. Oh yeah, if you're building a bus, get yourself a little notebook because this will be really cool to look at in like five, 10, 15, 30 years. I'm gonna need this, gonna need that drill, gonna need this. I'm going to need a straight edge, got a pencil, a speed square, a nail gun, another speed square. Gonna need some clamps. I think this is all I'm gonna need, but I might be wrong. All right, so let's build the cabinet.
She's so cute. Once I, I rough her up some and you know, thank you. Welcome. So that was, that was the goal that she wanted. The little sketch that I showed, that's that. That's the whole idea with the legs. And then we'll have two little drawers on front or two little doors on front. And the top will be like a faux one, but our sink will sit in there. And then we'll do butcher block countertops. So is that gonna be like the same color or is that gonna be like an accent piece? I'm thinking, I'm leaning more towards it being a stain and then the rest of it being cream. Like the rest of the cabinets being like a cream. So and that'll be stained and the rest will be painted? Yeah, cause I wanted it to look as though we found this piece and stuck it in. Can you say peekaboo? Well cool, that was a little bit easier than I thought. So, all right, let's just finish the rest of them, I guess. Milo, do you like it? Does Daddy need to build you a box? Huh? Hey. Long hair, don't care. Yeah. <laughs> progress today. I think that's the final cabinet. I should just start doing some like dividers and supports and we're gonna start doing the drawers. Drawers might be a little more daunting. Maybe not so much because it's just repetitive. Not so much thinking. Thinking's like the long part but making some progress today. It's lunchtime, and this is how the Nelsons do lunch. Good purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Good old throwback. Ding, ding, ding. There you go. Get it, give it a good hit. Whack it. Whack it. Go win. Nice. <laughs> ding, ding. That's how we decided to build the cabinets. It was a half inch, I think it was AB plywood, like sanded on both sides, so it's pretty good plywood. I went with half inch because it's not really necessary to do three quarters. I mean, I talked to the cabinet makers that are actually working on the house that I'm working on, and they're like, no, nah, dude, half inch, sometimes even quarter inch is totally fine. So I used 18 gauge, I think two inch nails, and then I used wood glue everywhere. And like wood glue, if you ever used wood glue before, it's like really, really tough stuff and it uh, actually rips apart the plywood before it actually comes apart. So I think these are gonna hold up very, very well. I'm very happy with how these came out. I'm not gonna build the, the drawers or the slides or whatever yet. Um, that's coming up in the future. 
because we have to figure out a couple more dimensions, but this is the gist of it. So I appreciate you guys watching. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you don't like it, and if you could subscribe, we'd really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, this bus is definitely coming along. I mean, like, look at our shower. It's like really starting to look like something. Oh yeah, this is not your typical composting toilet. It's not the one you see everywhere. I'm gonna talk about this later, but uh, yeah, this is like $400 cheaper than every other composting toilet on the market. So I'm gonna share that soon. Good. Hugs. Hugs. Can I get hugs? Mmm, that is sweet as hugs. Oh, I love you so much.